Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will understand as a business analyst how to get started for a migration project, right? No matter which country you are into or which bank you are into or for which um, network you are migrating your banks messaging in terms of ISO 222. If you are in USC, you are migrating it from the Fedwire to ISO 222, or you are in uh, UK, you're migrating your uh, backs into ISO 222 or empties into ISO 222, then you can follow the same procedure how to get started with this. And for this, we have a session. Uh, I have already uh, mentioned uh, that we have a course program where you can learn about the migration of uh, MTs into the ISO 22 that you can purchase it. In this video, what I'm going to teach you is how to get started, or how to create a, a proto backlog items when you are when you want to migrate your MT103 into in terms of FAX08, right? So I'm not going to uh, help you to understand how to a creative project and uh, so on, right? Those are the thing, basic things as a business analyst, you should be able to do it. And in product backlog items, right? You should be also able to write the epics. In this case, what I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, walk through is what are the, uh, how does the epics look like or how you can create the epic, right? So those things is what I'm going to uh, demonstrate to you. And let, I have taken two of the epics for, one is for MT103 migration to PAX08, and another one is MT202 migration to PAX09. Now, I'm not going to explain how we got this epics and all, because this is part of a business analyst walk. And if you want to understand about entire business analyst things, then you can drop an email to us, swiftpaymentguru at uh, gmail.com, and we would uh, provide the necessary support for that in terms of your ISO 222 migration work. Here, I'm just going to give you a basic insight how, how you can create your uh, epics and the user stories. And it can change and it can vary from bank to bank. Just I have taken one of the examples. So let me take the first one and I am taking the first one. I'm just opening the first one. So I just have taken considering the product owner or the stakeholders has provided this. Um, so this is my first epic. So as a business, what they want for this MT103 migration to PAX 8 is right? So they for them, as a bank, they would need to migrate outward MT103 payment misses to ISO 220 to PAX 8 misses so that the SWIFT network successfully acknowledges the receipt, right? So this is their basic uh, requirement when you would go through with the Zindas and the calls and product backlog refinement calls. And then you would have this acceptance criteria, which you would derive it from the state uh, the product owners and the stakeholders itself. And they would sign up this uh, uh, epics as well. Okay, or oh, this is one of the epic or the requirement which, uh, which needs to be developed as part of this project. In this acceptance criteria, right, for the business, uh, given that the outward customer credit transfer is initiated from any channel, now this end channel can be multiple channel in a project in a bank. They have just provided any channel, so it means applicable for all the channels. That has to be, you know, uh, modified in terms of a user stories later on, but this is how they will think in terms of the business as a bank. So. Given that outward customer credit transfer initiated from any channel, bank receives a request for the payment, bank and bank decides to release the payment via SWIFT network, then SWIFT sells which is the back to zero So this is one of the acceptance criteria for them. Next one is you know similar to that, and the bank gateway receives a successful act for back to zero eight from the SWIFT. This can be the another acceptance criteria, and then they can add on multiple acceptance criteria for that. Now, based on the acceptance criteria and the description. As a business analyst, you should be able to write down uh, the user stories. Basically, you cannot develop all, you cannot have one uh, epic develop at once because it would take a lot of time and effort. So for that, you know, you would divide it into the multiple 
uh, uses truly splitting, right? So whether you do it with your horizontal uh, uh, slicing or the vertical slicing, that is all together depending upon your project work. But basically, you will do it the mm, 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 vertical slicing where wherein you know you would have the test of all those layers, not only with the one layer development, but from a small part from each of the layers, right? So uh, under that, you can write down the user story. So this is the user story under that. So under this epic one, you have two user stories are basically, and let me open this. Under this epic, right, uh, you would have already written two user stories. So these are the user stories. If I go back to the backlog items, you would be able to see these are the two epics and these are the uh, to your stories which you have written and put in this print one activity and this is part of epic one only you can see over here if i open the first uh, one i'll just open to you and open this one and this user story tells you about one of the uh, channel so in this as an operation user or as a system I want to send packages rate messages to Swift network for the payment received for us to be channeled so that the payment gateway receives successful acknowledgement. For that also, you would receive the acceptance criteria given that our customer credit transfer is initiated from s to be channel straight through banking is one of the channel. When the system receives the request of payment and system releases payment messages by Swift network, then our gateway system of the bank receives successful act for the packages rate received from the Swift. Now this description, you would write it uh, because you, as we know that user story is written uh, in terms of what your system should behave in order to um, ensure that it meets to the requirement, basically at the epic, right? As per the requirement. And for that, what are what is the acceptance criteria for that, right? That also would need to be described. So given that the outward customer so this uh, acceptance criteria is when there's to be from there's to be channel this customer credit transfer in one zero three is initiated or call it as customer credit transfer payment is initiated and they should be able to send out this patch user eight misses and for that you should receive successful act from the swift network itself so that is what this first user story uh, uh, defines and for that user story you know you can have a multiple task created for it uh, development task it's testing task and into the development again you know uh, uh, whether it's for user interface or database or server logics codes right if there are multiple applications which are impacted all those uh, tasks need to be created and need to be assigned to the respective person and that is how you will get to have this first user stories uh, done and dusted Right. When it meets to the acceptance criteria, this will be done and listed. So this is how you would write your uh, epics and user stories in terms of uh, uh, migration to ISO 222 as a business analyst or a product owner. So hope this would be a, a very uh, informative uh, session for you. And if you want to learn more about this and in terms of ISO 222, I would recommend you to drop an email to us and uh, you can purchase our Swift payment course or you can purchase our ISO 2022 migration course. So you can uh, drop an email to us at uh, swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and we have two of our batches, which is Swift payment course program where where you will get it in international rupees 5,000. And this is designed by me, eight years experience into SME, into the IT industry in terms of the payments. So you'll get entire course videos, slide use for the teaching, documents into the Swift messaging and ISO 222. You'll get the uh, uh, MT2 MX converter for MT103 to PAX 8 and MT2022 to PAX 9, which is developed by myself with an experience. You'll, uh, you'll also receive the expected interview questions and platform to discuss. So this is what you will receive in the Swift payment offline. Uh, I mean, um, Swift payment course program. You'll get the entire videos, uh, right? And there is one. Uh, this is the newly launched one, which is quite popular, and this is in high demand right now because 
the world is migrating into ISO 2122, as in all the high value payment system and uh, all the banks is, are migrating into ISO 2022. And if you want to know how to migrate and what are the things which you need to understand in terms of you to get started with the ISO 2022 migration, right? You, this is the best program you can make use of, right? It, is, it costs only international rupees, 10,000 rupees. And in this, you'll also have this video of one of the, uh, you will also have the videos on as a business analyst what how, what and how to get started or you know in terms of uh, collecting the information all those information can also be provided in this ISO 2022 migration program okay and not only that you have this 20 plus hours of ISO 2022 course videos you have a very, very good number of MT to MX converter tool which I have developed it and you can easily understand the conversion between MTs and MX. Then you will also receive the important reference documents, user's guidelines, sample ISO 2022 messages, some business use cases with workflow and different messages involved. So this business use cases is almost 15 to 20, which you will get to know about the different use cases which are using the actual payment into the production. And that will help you to get started with the different use cases and for you to you know start preparing those backlog items or if you are a tester then you can use it for your testing purpose so you no know, i mean if you are my working in this iso 2022 migration this is the best program i would recommend as a business analyst or product owner as well not only that as a project manager testers and developers everyone can make use of it but for a product owner and business analyst this is just a course you can make use of and SWIFT payment course is more related to your payment basics and your SWIFT uh, business use cases in terms of the SWIFT MT payments. All those MT1 categories, two categories, nine categories payments are involved in it. SWIFT introduction and uh, different uh, uh, types of payments like uh, direct payment, zero payment, core payment, different charges type, you know, RMA, accounting, all those information is available. This is also around 20 plus hours of videos. If you are altogether new into the SWIFT payment course or you have little idea of, about your SWIFT MT uh, payments and payment related, right? You will get entire, your, your basics would be, you know, for sure would be uh, enhanced or you would be good enough to good, get started uh, and, uh, or to switch into the organization by just going through this payment course videos, which I provide in this international rupees with 5,000. So a lot of my uh, students have already you know, got job because as you know that the world is migrating and a lot of opportunities across the world, are, it is available. A lot of my students not only are from India, but from US, Canada and UK. So they are getting benefited with my course. And uh, yeah, I, I, I just wish you also get benefited with my courses and all the best. You just drop an email to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com in order to get our courses and all the best.